Okay, I'm trying a new technique. I honestly haven't seen this um, done by anyone else, at least not on YouTube, and perhaps someone has, and I'm sorry I'm not stealing it from anyone. I just came up with this when I was thinking about um, the printable shrinkening paper, and it's the shrinkening film that's um, matte, and it is inkjet safe, so there's instructions on the back on how to use it on your inkjet. Um, what I did is um, I had made some flowers with Russian text in the background. I decided to print that page out. As you can see, it's still moist because it glistens, so I'm going to let it dry thoroughly before I do any die cutting with it. Now, I can either put it on my Cricut mat and cut it uh, an image with my Cricut. The first thing I think I'm going to try is the Tim Holtz um, findings, and I want to know what the key looks like with this text on it. And um, in case you're wondering, what's actually written here is in Russian, and it's all about the city where I was born and raised, Odessa, on the Black Sea. It's Ukraine now, but this is in Russian. And it's, um, Pismo Grajdanine is... Anyway, I won't bore you in reading all this, and honestly, reading Russian now gives me a headache anyway. <laughs> it's been some time since I read it, had to read it. So, But I'm going to come back with and show you some of the images that I've cut, as well as shrinking. Oh, you could see right there as I'm moving the page, the fact that it's still a little wet. So I'm going to let it um, air dry because I can't, I can't not use my heat tool on the page because it will shrink the page so and I don't want that to happen until I've actually die cut it so I'll be back okay ladies can you believe this these are the shrinking inks this is a this started out as the extra large tag what I did is I traced one of these and this is what it shrunk down to Incredible, isn't it? Then I ran the rest of the page through um, Tim Holtz alteration dies. This is the key. Is that thinking cute or what? There's a keyhole. Two of the gears. And this actually folded on itself. It's the latch. But I really like the way it turned out. It's thinking cute. Now, this particular one uh, dries opaque. Um, or uh, shrinks opaque. There are some that shrink clear, and I have not tried those yet. Um, I also have some solid color, so I'm going to try um, solid color uh, for these keys, for the key and the keyhole. They're so cute. I can't even tell you. Well, you could see. Giant hand, tiny little key, and the gears. This is the largest one, gear. And this is the next medium size one and they're thick plastic now after they heated immediately after they heated I used one of my wooden stamps to squish them down oh you can even see the the text but I'll wipe that off to keep them flat because I didn't want them curling up oh I'm so impressed oh this one's a little raised on one of them. You can reheat them if you find that an end or an edge is still a little furled up like this one I could feel is a little up. If I heat it a little bit and then press down again. And remember when you're doing this these get very very hot and I'm using I was using my my um, needle tool to hold them and I heat on this surface only because I've done everything on the surface but you really should use a heat safe uh, surface to do this on because it heats up a lot and you do need to keep the tool on um, the film for quite a bit. Uh, it will look as though you're destroying it and it will never unfurl and then within seconds it starts to flatten out. You do need to completely flatten it so but do not use your hands. Use a heat safe item like a uh, wooden block from a stamp or uh, a pot bottom that would work a metal pot bottom um, if it's clean so um, I might uh, try playing around with a few more thanks